So I will explain atoms, elements, molecules, and compounds. Atoms are constructed of neutrons, protons, and electrons. They are usually balanced, meaning the number of protons are the name as number of electrons. Atoms make up every living thing. Following, following up with elements, they are made up of the, the same exact atoms. By that I mean that every atom within the element is exactly the same. If it were possible to reach in and take one out, it would have the same exact properties as the full element. If I didn't have the same atoms, if it didn't have the same atoms, it would be a compound. A compound is two or more elements combined. For example, wa water is a combination of two hydrogen and oxygen. Thank you for listening. On to you, now. Mason, my portion of the project included enzymes, carbohydrates, proteins, and amino acids. To start off, proteins are an organic compound made up of large molecules. They can, they can be found in meats, eggs, and nuts. They are used to build or repair cell structures. The building block of a protein is an amino acid. It is a small part of a protein. Next is an enzyme. Put simply, to put simple, enzymes are used to speed up chemical reactions. Carbohydrates are a type of sugar. You can get them from wheat, bread, starches, and potato. They, are ser they, are they serve as a source of energy. Now, on to James. Next, now, finally, I'll be talking about nucleic acids and lipids. Nucleic acids are very large molecules made up of hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon. There are two types of nucleic acid. DNA and RNA. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, is the genetic material passed on from parents. RNA is the genetic information passed on from parents. These acids help make up who we are today. Lastly, I'll be talking about lipids. Lipids are the fatty, waxy, oily proteins that make up the cell membrane. They protect and shape the cell membrane, protecting the organelles. Thanks for joining us in this scientific presentation.